friends welcome to today's video so today's question is there are five envelopes corresponding to five letters if the letters are placed in the envelopes at random what is the probability that all the letters are not placed in the right envelopes so what is the given question there are five envelopes and these five envelopes are corresponding to five letters they will be addressed envelopes so the letters are to be placed in the envelopes so what is the probability that all the letters are not placed in the right envelopes so all the five letters are not placed correctly in their corresponding envelopes so what is the probability so in how many ways can all the letters be placed in the right envelope so let's just see let the envelopes be a b c d and e and the letters be small a small b small c and small d so correct combination will be a is going to a small b is going to b c is going to c d is going to d e is going to e so there is only one way in which all the letters will be placed in the right envelopes even if one is changing suppose if a is going to be placed in d and d is going to be placed in a means all the letters are not placed in their right envelopes there is only one way in which all the letters can be placed in the right envelopes there are five envelopes and five letters so arranging how it is the total number of ways in which five letters can be arranged in five envelopes so it will be equal to five factorial ways i had already told in the previous video whenever selection comes it is combination whenever arranging comes it is permutation so here actually the number of ways in which five envelopes can be arranged in five letters so it is five factorial ways you can arrange five letters in five envelopes so it will be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which gives us 120 so there are 120 ways in which five letters can be arranged in five envelopes so what is the probability how many ways are there to arrange so that all the letters are not placed in the right envelopes it will be 120 minus 1 there is only one way in which all the letters can be placed in the right envelopes so there will be 119 ways in which all the letters are not placed in the right envelopes or there will be 119 favorable events and 120 total events so our probability will be 119 divided by 120 so when this question comes you have to understand what is the probability that all the letters are not placed in the right envelopes there is only one way in which all the letters can be placed in right envelopes so there will be 119 ways in which all the letters are not placed in the right envelopes so 119 divided by 120 is our required probability now second question there are five envelopes corresponding to five letters if the letters are placed in the envelopes at random what is the probability that no single letter is placed in the right envelope so what is the given question there are five envelopes and there are five letters and what is the probability that no single letter is placed in the right envelope so a should not go to small a b should not go to small b c should not go to small c and d should not go to small d and e should not go to small e no letter is placed in the right envelope what is the probability this is a very important question a cat level question in different numbers it can come there are eight envelopes six envelopes so i'll just try to explain how it is done but this method will not work for all the questions so i'll be also giving you a formula so using this formula you can easily solve these kind of questions so now let's see how to do this now consider this letter a so for this letter a how many choices are there the letter a should not go to envelope a because envelope a is the right envelope so letter a should not go to envelope a it should go to a wrong envelope so there are four choices for letter a so four choices are there for letter a out of five so out of this total five it can go to four envelopes it cannot go to small a because it is a right envelope so it can go to either b c d or e so it is having four choices and what about b b will be having only three choices a has gone already to one envelope so a b c d are representing the letters and small a small b small c small d and small e are representing the envelopes so a has already gone to one envelope so b cannot go to that same envelope so it was only having four choices so out of four it cannot go to small b 
cannot go to small b so the remaining choices will be 3 so b can go to 3 choices and what about c c will be having 2 choice out of 3 and d will be having only 1 choice out of 2 it cannot go to its right envelope so that is why 1 choice is getting reduced and e will be also having only 1 choice because only 1 is remaining so e will be having only 1 choice so what is the total number of uh, ways available it will be 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 10 and 11. So, there are 11 ways it is done. Okay. A, B, C, D, E going to wrong envelopes. There are 11 ways of doing. Now, this A can go to any one of the four. Okay. A can go to either B or C or D or E. So, out of these four, again, all these choices will differ. When A is going to C means B can go to A, D and E. If A is going to B means B can go to C, D, E. Likewise. So, that way it will be different. So, there are four ways of doing for A. A itself will be having four choices as I had told. So, A can go to either B, C, D or E. So, depending on that 11 into 4 is equal to 44 ways. Total number of ways will be 44. So, the one one choice we are seeing or one way we are seeing A is going to one envelope and there will be four choices left. And B will be having 3 choices, C will be having 2 choices, D will be having 1 choice and E will be having 1 choice. So, 11 ways of doing. Now, this A itself can go to any one of the 4. So, there will be 11 into 4 is equal to 44 ways of doing. So, 44 will be the total number of ways of doing. So, our probability will be equal to 44 divided by 120. 120 is the total number of ways in which 5 letters can be arranged in 5 envelopes, 5 factorial ways. So, 120. So, 44 ways we can arrange wrong letters in wrong envelopes or all the letters in wrong envelopes. So, it will be 44 divided by 120. So, in any case, in like now 6 letters can come, 7 letters can come. So, this takes a lot of time also and you have to think it logically when... Uh, 7 letters are there again it can go to 6 it can increase up to 10 letters it can come so we can study a formula for doing these kind of questions and this formula is known as the formula of derangement okay so this is the derangement formula or the, the thing is that everything will be going to wrong places that is the meaning of derangement so all the five envelopes should be wrongly placed then we can use this formula of derangement it is equal to the common formula is n factorial into 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial likewise it will be continuing up to minus 1 the whole raised to n divided by n factorial so n n things going to n wrong places there are n things and all the n things should be arranged wrongly then we can use this formula of derangement it will be equal to n factorial into 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial for odd numbers it will come minus that way you can remember 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial minus 1 by 5 factorial plus 1 by 6 factorial up to n factorial you have to go so here how it will come here n is equal to 5 the 5 letters should go to 5 wrong envelopes or 5 letters should be wrongly arranged so it will be 5 factorial into 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial minus 1 by 5 factorial so this is our formula so how it will come 5 factorial into 1 by 2 factorial is 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 factorial is 1 by 3 into 2 plus 1 by 4 into 3 into 2 minus 1 by 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 so let's take common denominator so here also 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 here also 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 will come so it will be cancelled out so our first number will be 5 into 4 into 3 minus here it will be 5 into 4 here it will be 5 here it will be 1 so it will be okay denominator is cancelled out okay so, 5 into 4 into 3 is 20, 20 into 3 is 60, 60 minus 20 plus 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. So, 60 minus 20 is equal to 40, 40 plus 4 is equal to 44. So, there are 44 ways of wrongly arranging 5 letters in 5 envelopes. This is the formula of derangement. So, from this formula of derangement, we found this number 44 directly. 
so this you can use for any number when there are 10 envelopes also you can easily write so 10 factorial into 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial minus 1 by 5 factorial plus 1 by 6 factorial minus 1 by 7 factorial plus 1 by 8 factorial minus 1 by 9 factorial plus 1 by 10 factorial as easy as that so here 44 ways of arranging wrongly so our probability will be equal to 44 divided by 120 which gives us 11 divided by 30 so this formula you can study here this is a formula of derangement it is the it gives us the number of ways in which n things can be arranged wrongly in n different places for more aptitude videos subscribe to our channel download our aptitude pdf from the link given in the description thank you for watching